Uh, hi, I'm uh, Professor Andy Frank at uh, UC Davis. Uh, we're uh, uh, building plug-in hybrid cars here, our latest vehicle. It has lithium-ion batteries. It will go 40 miles all electrically before it has to use any uh, gasoline at all. So you might say it gets infinite miles per gallon for the first 40 miles, and then uh, the engine comes on and it operates just like a conventional hybrid then. We call this car Tr Trinity uh, because it can use uh, electricity, gasoline, or ethanol in any combination. That's, that's the old wire. Yeah. What, what these guys are doing is uh, mating the engine and transmission together. <clears throat> there will be an electric motor that fits here. So this is the hybrid powertrain. There's the engine. This, there's our new uh, continuously variable transmission. And then we will have an electric motor sitting here. We took the General Motors V6, three, three and a half liter V6 out and replaced it with a one and a half, 1.5 liter um, a Toyota Prius engine and uh, this car now when it runs will get when it runs on gasoline it will get twice the fuel economy as the conventional car. This whole powertrain represents uh, a, about 20 years of development. Uh, we have about uh, uh, 12 patents issued uh, that are uh, and, and number of patents that are still pending uh, <clears throat> and these 12 patents cover the operation of the engine, the operation of the transmission, the integration of the electric motor to the system, and the fact that uh, we have a, um, a system which operates all together and including the batteries. We've designed this car in such a way that the, um, the batteries are uh, essentially uh, a part of the car and uh, um, you don't sacrifice interior space and you don't sacrifice weight. By the way, there's a lot of people who think these battery cars are going to weigh a lot more. It's not true because we, make, we have a much smaller engine, we have a much lighter transmission, and we have a, a, a powerful electric motor. We don't need a starter motor, we don't need an alternator, and um, the weight that we save in engine and transmissions goes into batteries so that this car weighs essentially the same as a conventional car. To charge this car, we simply use a conventional 110 volts. So here is a plug that goes into the car, and then here is the plug that goes into the wall. Well, the best case would be to see this technology go worldwide. So I want to have China, India, uh, all of Europe, uh, everybody building these cars. That's the best case. Uh, the worst case is uh, we let General Motors do it and they lock everybody else and only General Motors is producing this car. That, that's nice, but it doesn't help global warming because global warming has to be done worldwide. And it doesn't help the use of oil. Uh, we want all car companies in this country to be building these plug-in hybrids so that we can start shifting from using fossil fuel, gasoline, and oil to electricity today.